Welcome to Longhaven. Used to be a busier place before all this trouble with the mist. But we won't let that be an excuse for poor hospitality. Started a few weeks ago now, when the mist changed, turned a sickly color. All I know is what I saw with my own eyes. Hunters simply dropping their bows and wandering unarmed into the moors as if bewitched. Then their bodies turn up later, or what's left of them. Can't explain it. Except... A wanderer, much like yourself, a dour Dunmer fellow, passed through here. Bought supplies and headed straight into the moors. My warnings be damned. Seemed like he knew something. You want to figure this out? I'd start by finding that Dunmer. Strangely enough, several. They all reported an odd sensation that wasn't present before, as well as an apparent rise in hostile beasts in the area, but otherwise returned unscathed. If this is some spell, maybe some are more resistant than others. He was gone as quickly as he came. He was outfitted for battle, though that isn't strange for adventurers. But he walked as one who knows his goal and will not be deterred. No, only the hunters. I manage clan affairs and the upkeep of the village. This was simpler before the forming of the Almeri Dominion. Valenwood is changing, and its people with it. I find my time occupied in dealing with the necessary adjustments. Gone. I must finish my prayers and purify my spirit before I meet my foes in battle. I have been tracking my prey for many nights. A heathen vampire who shall soon be cleansed from this world. I thought him alone, but now that I see this place, I suspect a lair is hidden nearby. He shall regret leading me to this vile nest. I have hunted them all my life. And yet I have never seen magic such as this. I do feel their touch upon it. I feel it testing my will with every step I take. But I shall not falter. I shall face these creatures and leave nothing but ash behind. No fear, bravery, or foolish inexperience. I cannot trust one who could become enthralled at any moment. Prove to me. You have the will to resist this foul magic. Find me at the lair up the hill east of here. Then I shall consider it. And now my work begins.
No more. Please, I'm not like them. So, you made it through the mist. Your will is stronger than I expected. Vampire scum. He barely put up a struggle before he fell to his knees, begging for what he calls a life. I did not expect such weakness. I will finish him now, if you'd be so kind as to step aside. No. This pathetic being is hardly even worthy of my blade. The one I followed here is called Fainir, a much more formidable foe than this maggot, I assure you. We shall meet him soon enough. He and all of his coven shall die. As you wish. In this moment or the next, his existence shall end either way. But be wary. A vampire attempts to sway and beguile with its words. Do not listen, no matter what he says. You must have mercy. The Dark Elf won't listen, but you will, won't you? We were different. I didn't want this. Kept to ourselves. Didn't prey on the living. The beast, the Horvor, glutted themselves on the blood of hunters. We fed on them. We didn't kill anyone. It was a natural way. Until he came. The Veiled One. Ultima, I think. Sought an alliance. Promised power. Told us we didn't need to hide anymore. Others in my clan agreed. He taught them a ritual using an ancient vampire skull, said it would allow them to make countless thralls. The skull rests in the back of this cavern. Its curse seeps into the mists all around us. Destroy the skull and the magic goes with it. I never wanted this. Spare me and I can bring others to my side. We can be of use to you. Yes. He was the loudest of the supporters along with Athraidel and Lathriel. I saw them speaking with the Veiled One often. They never listened to me. You'll have to go through them if you want to reach the Skull. Now please, just let me go. Finished with your little chat. I shall relieve him of his head now and rid us of his insufferable mewling. Did I not warn you of this? That his vile tongue would worm its way into your thoughts? There's no such thing as a good vampire. Just a vampire that has not yet been tempted. Our goals here are the same. Will you forget them for this scum? I can't oppose you. I don't slay the living. Only the dead. Run along, little worm. A brief reprieve only. I'll find you and your kin. Oh, thank you. The rest who opposed Fainir have already escaped. Filth. Now to Fainir, quickly. My blade does not enjoy being denied a meal. Lead on. I shall strike from the shadows. Strange winged beasts, pets of the vampires. Or were they once Bosma themselves? Ha! 
This must be the main living quarters. Fainir must be near. At last, I pray is within reach.
So that explains what we saw as we slew them. They bound themselves to the skull. Dark magic often comes with a heavy price. A fellow member of the guild. Well met. I'm here searching for a few others of our order. I don't suppose you've crossed paths with them, huh? I see. So their lust for power led them to their demise. A lesson every maid should take to heart. Thank you for seeking me out about this. You've saved me much fruitless searching. It is good to know the matter is dealt with. It's you again. The hunters say the mist has lost its sickly tint. Did you find the source? Vampires here. Sickening. Hunted in our own hunting grounds. We'll be more vigilant of their kind now. I'll see to it personally that every last one of them is destroyed. Thank you for helping us. She is lost to me. What do I do now? You. Did I overhear you correctly? Vampires were the source of the creatures in the corrupted mist. Oh, tell me it isn't so. It's just that my wife, Alcenia, was among the lost. And while some have returned, she never came back. I don't know if she's dead or just lost out there alone. I've searched for days, but there's no sign of her. I've just about given up hope. Would you? With the mist returning to normal now, it might be easier to find her. That's what I hope, at least. Searching for me, aren't you? Let us speak quickly. I don't have much time. I know you're looking for me. I'm showing myself to tell you to leave. Tell Thornor you found me dead. It'll be true enough soon. 
I'm going to end my life before I turn. I was out gathering fungi when the mist suddenly took on a strange hue. The next thing I remember is waking up in a dark place, surrounded by strange Bosma with glowing eyes. They told me I'd be one of them soon. It's true. I can feel it. I don't know. I've seen my husband out here, calling for me. I keep myself hidden because I don't want him to see. I can't go home like this. When I turn, just leave me. I'll end it soon. I just want to watch the sea a bit longer. A cure for this? <laughs> you mean like the potions the wild witch brews in children's stories? It said her hovel appears and disappears at her whim, and that she could brew potions to cure any ailment. It's been a long time since I heard that story. And that's all it is. A story. I'm going now. Please don't look for me again. I heard you were the one that came to Longhaven's aid. Some of those creatures are still out there, but we'll deal with them now that you've cut off the source. That old tale? Sure. We all grew up hearing about her. An immortal witch who extends her life by bathing in blood. I tried it once. I just ended up feeling crusty. Most of our tales are based on some measure of truth. I've heard that some people think she was just an old Bosma who went mad and killed some of her clan, eventually becoming an exile. Who could say for sure? So the story goes. I don't know about that, but Doralyn in the village knows the story better than I do. You might talk to her if you're interested in the finer details. I'll have to make another trip to Woodhearth soon to replenish my ingredients. If you have your own, you're welcome to use my tools. Well, you've come to the right place. It's one of my favorite tales, though it's quite embellished these days. Better for frightening the children away from certain dangers. There are many versions of her in the tales, but they are all based on an old Bosma who is very real. I've met her myself, though she is a reclusive one. She's called Galarith, and she's a master of the art of hiding. That would be up to her alone. She seems to only reveal herself to those that interest her, but you're welcome to try. She has many hovels tucked away in the wood, but the one nearest Longhaven is just by the sea, to the southwest. She is indeed an alchemist of great skill, having perfected the art over centuries. I can't say whether or not that part of the tale is true, but if it could be cured by any natural means, I would bet she knows how. What's this now? How would I know what others call me? I am Galareth, 
And you are inside my home. Why have you come here? I might have something that will do the trick, assuming they haven't fully turned. But I expect you to do something for me in return first. So she can't face her husband after what she's become? I know what that feels like. Very well. Take this to her as soon as possible. She must drink it before her transformation is complete or it will be too late. You there. You're searching for me, aren't you? Let us speak quickly. I don't have much time. You again? Please, I have nothing more to say about it. I'm already suffering enough without you making a mockery of me. I just started thinking about my childhood now that my life is over. That's all. I like those stories. Even if that's all they were. Children's tales. Ugh. It tastes like bugs. I do. I do feel somewhat warmer, more myself, less cloudy. But what if they come for me again? I feel like they're in my mind, always watching. I see. I noticed the mist had changed. I thought it was only my changed eyes embracing its corruption. Thank you for this. I thought it was hopeless, but now I can return home to Thornor. I will. I can't wait to see him again. Please, take this. It isn't much, for I can never repay what you've done for me. But I hope it will suffice. I heard you were the one that came to Longhaven's aid. I thank you, friend. What a totem.
you look bored. Come on over and have a drink. <laughs> 